Good morning. <clears throat> Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and the house will fall against house. The devil's tactic is confusion and is uh, division and is animosity and is confusion, but ultimately his tactic is worthless because he confuses himself. He divides against himself, um, and as he pits <clears throat> people against one another, um, ultimately his tactic fails because uh, in the end there is no victor. Um, Jesus talks about this strong man fully armed uh, who guards his palace and his possessions are safe. He's referring to the devil who is uh, the, the prince of this world who uh, guards over his palace uh, of the worldly things. His possessions are safe. That is those that he has claimed for himself through slavery to sin. But when one's stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Jesus is that one who is stronger than the strong man. He is the strongest man. He is the one who comes and breaks into the gates of the netherworld. He is the one who breaks into uh, the palace of the devil so that he can scatter the devil and he can reclaim us for, our, uh, for himself. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. And so we recognize that Jesus desires to draw all of us into himself so that we may be together with him, we may lead others to him. But if we work against him, we are scattering, we are pushing others away, we are working uh, with the devil. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. After we've gone to confession, we've confessed our sins, we've received absolution, we've made a firm purpose of amendment in our lives, and we have received the grace of God so that we may avoid falling into sin. The devil comes back and tempts us with the same sin, and we say, no, no, not today, devil. And the devil says, okay, fine, got me. I'm going to go back to hell and I'm going to conjure up seven more, uh, even more nefarious demons and I'm going to come back and I'm going to try to tempt you harder. And coming back and finding that grace-filled temple of the Holy Spirit, temptation grows stronger, the flesh grows weak, and we fall into sin. And so Jesus says, the last condition of that man is worse than the first. But we recognize that as the devil tries to divide and tries to trick us and tries to uh, uh, create all sorts of confusion, as he comes back with his seven stronger demons, even if we do fall, we know that Jesus is there to restore us. We know that Jesus is there to forgive us. We know that Jesus is there as the stronger man, as the one who can break through the gates as the one who can set us free from slavery to sin. And so we recognize the tactics of the devil. We recognize that he tries to divide, that he tries to confuse, that he tries to pit us against one another. But ultimately that Jesus is the stronger man. Ultimately that there are no bonds of sin that Jesus himself cannot destroy. Perhaps we cannot. Perhaps we can do nothing. We are weak. We ask the Lord to take away our sinfulness and it doesn't seem to work, but yet we rely on him. We rely on his mercy. We rely on his goodness. We rely on his forgiveness. We rely on the fact that he desires to gather us together with him. And then once the house is swept clean after the seven demons have left, we continue to grow in holiness. We continue to grow in grace, and we continue to be able to resist temptation uh, resist the uh, desire to fall into wickedness, to resist the lures of the devil. And so let us ask the Lord this day that he may continue to gather us together, that he may give us the grace to avoid or rather to reject temptation. Remember, temptations in and of themselves aren't sins. It's an invitation to sin or to be holy. Let us ask the Lord that he would give us the grace to not fall into temptation but also that he would give us the grace to grow in holiness so that we may resist temptation when it presents itself to us.